My name is Andromache Chalfant, and I am the set designer for A Kid Like Jake. We decided to, to contain the play in one you know, main location so that it would be grounded in the world of the family. Then it was a matter of fig you know, finding the right space and coming up with um, interesting solutions to this problem of multi-locations in one setting. Um, a couple of things we did were, were, uh, were to have two walls, sort of an upstage area and a downstage area. The downstage area could be a little bit more spare so that there could be a neutrality to some of the space. And then upstage, we could dress sort of wildly specific. Then in the design process, incorporating ways of blocking off the upstage space when we were in the other locations so that um, we added these blinds that go across and this door with frosted glass um, so that we, you know, we could have a little bit more of an institutional feel for um, the admissions uh, office and for the doctor's office. Conveying Jake's presence on stage was the most fun for me. I think partly because of where I am right now in my own life, I have a four-year-old daughter. And so I felt like I had it. I knew exactly what this was. Well, I asked my daughter's permission first, um, but I used a lot of her artwork on the stage. So uh, we have, you know, collage work that she did actually at an earlier time. Um, and you know, I'd be curious if someone without a kid would, would pick up on this, but, but you know, I made sure to drop everything really low. <laughs> because when you're four, everything happens from like, you know, 40 inches and down. So this was really, in a way, the, the, main, the main element to tell us, you know, where Jake's room was, and but it's not open all the time. And in fact, we um, one of the changes we made was to paint the the onstage side blue. Initially, it had been white, and you know there was some confusion as to you know who, where Jake was. And by painting it blue, we somehow sort of telepathed. I think that this was a kid's kid's color, kid's room. The painting had to both be able to believably live in the couple's apartment as well as the waiting room. Um, so as we were going on with the design, I, you know, it became more and more apparent how important this image was going to be. And we went through a series of versions. Um, and then I just randomly landed on this artist's website and um, and I loved it because it was it, it had both a naive and sophisticated quality it was somewhat kid-like it's you know it's open in the back and and we and it's printed the painting is printed on a on a translucent material so that uh, when we light it from the back it glows I actually uh, was in my, one of my good friends in, in Red Hook, um, I was in her house, and she has a great house, and I was just looking around at her kitchen, and I thought, oh my god, this is the perfect kitchen, and she has a little four-year-old like, like I do, and it was a mix of, you know, food and dishes and kids stuff and cereal and plastic and color, and then, you know, but the, the main thing were these salvaged wood shelves that were really, really beefy. Uh, you know, but I, I took a picture and we ended up recreating her kitchen on stage. So that was the inspiration for the kitchen. Mm -hmm.